Hey everybody over at Movies.com, it is the Schmoes No Movie Show, I'm Christian. And I am Mark. Christian, this weekend in theaters, Jersey Boys comes out, not the Broadway play, they actually made a movie of it, and they let Clint Eastwood direct it. I'm gonna tell you guys to sing and dance, do your dancing. Uh, that's right, the director, not the actor. That's what we're celebrating here today. We're gonna do the top five Clint Eastwood directed movies. And now sometimes he does step in front of the camera in his own picture, right. such is the case with number five. Now, this is not gonna be the last time you see a Western on this list, but we thought we'd kick it off right with the outlaw Josie Wales. Uh, there's so many movies and westerns that Clint Eastwood has done, and this one he directed himself in. And Clint Eastwood became the anti-John Wayne of, of westerns, the way he was just kind of like the anti-hero. Yeah, it was, John Wayne was usually, until the end of his career, he was always the good guy. You knew who you were rooting for. Then Clint Eastwood, it was more of a murky situation. And that's not only the case with the outlaw Josie Wales, with a lot of his westerns, and with his films in general. So that's why that makes our list. Jumping on to number four, there were this was like a two-part series. The first one he did was Flags of Our Fathers, which I thought was okay, but Letters to Iwo Jima is, mm -hmm. a, is a great film that he did, subtitles about the, the Japanese side of things, and it's, it just captures what Clint Eastwood is so good in doing and catching the, the human element in his stories. And he really, you get, you get every side of this too. This isn't necessarily a good guys versus bad guys thing. It's not just a pro-America thing. Right. It's, a, it's an anti-war message and it really is a human film. So yeah. it's fan if you've never seen either, I, I like both of them a lot, so check them out. What do we got at number three? It'll make you tear up every time you see it. No, we're not talking about Bridges of Madison County. Million Dollar Baby. It's not only Clint Eastwood is the trainer, Hilary Swank is the pupil, and Morgan Freeman is the janitor. You never actually see him clean up in the movie, but he offers a lot of advice. Oscar stuff, man. A lot of Oscar stuff and deserved Oscar stuff in this film because it's, you talk about what he does so well with characters, this one, what he takes, he, Hilary Swank, to her credit, is so great in the role, but you also have to credit Clint Eastwood in being the way he directed her. And you, you, she has this like Mike Tyson kind of feel to her throughout the movie, but it's their relationship. Trainer, old vet, you know, the Rocky Mickey thing that they have going on, and it's a very emotional story. It's just something that you don't really expect Clint Eastwood to be able to bring up, but he's done it time and time again when he's making films, is he really makes the viewer emotional watching the action on screen. And I think you do see Morgan Freeman use the mop at least once in the once or twice. Number two, you talk about emotional, you talk about being on the edge of your seat. What do you got? That would be Mystic River. Whew. Based off the novel Sean Penn in the movie. And this, the, I mean, if you've seen the movie, you know at the end, and you're just like, no, wait, what? No, no. It, it's got, he has such a great eye for suspense and keeping, and he knows how to cast his actors. Yeah. You know, with Sean Penn, he just is leading you on to this emotional journey. It's a movie that it's not an easy watch like a lot of his other films. That might be his opus in regards to the way he directs is usually one or two takes and we got him, let's yeah. move on, is that you can tell that the, he lets the actors act and I don't think that it's ever been, it's ever come to more full fruition than with Mystic River. However, one of the best films of all time is our number one. That would be him as William Munn in front of the camera and he directed Unforgiven. Anytime we have a chance to put Unforgiven as number one on the list, it always happens because the movie is so spectacular in so many different ways. You talk about anti-hero, you talk about Clint Eastwood at his best, both acting and directing, this is it. You take that anti-hero that he'd done so well so many times in the Westerns, you put him as like the old vet this time, having to redeem himself over despicable things he'd done in the past, perfect movie. All right, how about you guys? What do you guys think we missed? What would you like to see on the list? And some honorable mentions, speaking of Westerns, Pale Rider, man, that was that was like 5B to the outlaw Josie Wales' 5A. How about The Rookie? No. Okay. No. Sudden Impact, he plays the, it's not the best Derek Harry movie, no, he, he directed it. True Crime, uh, Invictus, I actually like The Changeling. There's a lot of movies yeah. out there that you could put for Clint Eastwood's top five. That was ours, what's yours? Tell us what your top five Clint Eastwood directed movies are of all time. And make sure you check out Jersey Boys and How to Think Like a Man Part Two is in theaters this weekend. Have fun in the movies. That is Christian, I am Mark, and it is the Schmozda Movie Show on movies.com. Think like a man, T-O-O. -O. Like Team Wolf, T-O-O. -O. No, you can't compare.